Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user... where are we here? Uh, da, 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 the user Hesco Mods in Discord, so massive thank yous for them to send in this in. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us today. So... Just on the workshop, I should already have it installed here on the subscribe tab. There you go. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what they have prepared for us here. Okay, right. So it's the Luadelo system, version 1.1.2. Oh, wow, look at these rings. Whoa. Looks like we're using the Milky Way light background as well. Nice. Okay, so the star itself. It's located in the Milky Way galaxy and is sitting at a distance of about 50,000 light years from the sun on the other side of the galactic center. So, Luadello, the central point of the entire system, it was born around 10.72 galactic years ago, is mainly composed of hydrogen. Okie dokie. Looking good. Okay, um, Robius, the first of the planets, I'm assuming. Where are we? It's a newly discovered type of star, a green dwarf. Okay. Its colourful shine remains a mystery to be solved by science. So is that uh, over here? Whoa, okay. Interesting stuff. Okay, planets. So let's go to the planets first down here. So first up we got Luminaire. Extremely hot planet is composed of molten rock and metal due to it being close to the star. Then next up we've got... Uh, Nitas, another molten world too close to the star. They are often referred to as the molten twins by scientists since they are very close to each other. Okay. Interesting stuff indeed. Okay. Cool. So next up we have got uh, Hade Factum over here. Yet another, again, another hot planet. Those time it has a much higher temperature than the other two. This is due to its one thick atmosphere that is now very thin. Cool. Now we got Vertuga here. Oh. Well, that looks pretty cool. Nice. A hot Jupiter which is mostly coloured green but has several blue stripes and one narrow pink band. Scientists have found out it's extreme weather conditions like toxic rain and deadly quick storms. It's also got one little moon there as well. Excellent. Alright, next up we have got this one over here. Irakumi, one of the few Hattle worlds of this system. Though life on this planet has once had its peak several thousand years ago, nowadays there aren't many estimations that can be observed um, and communicated with. Okay. So it's a pretty beaten up world now, looking at it. Okay. And it's got two moons as well. There's one there, and then the second moon is so. Oh, no, we lost it. I wonder what that. Looks like it's a Dyson sphere going on in the background, man. I want to see what that's all about. So there is that there. The next up, we have got Wintarlis next. So we're taking a jump over this one. Okay, why are we doing that? Interesting. Okay, so Wintarlis. A cold and frozen planet located in the innermost circular disc called Harper's Disc. Apart from being covered in snow, it has a weird and unexplained appearance whose features unnatural looking patches of green water. Very interesting stuff. Okay. Cool, cool. And it's also got one moon as well. Quickly open that there. All right. Nice. So next up, we've got uh, Destoma over here. Okay. Nice yellow. That's a nice yellow gas giant. That looks good. So... Despite it looking like a regular gas giant, it's still classified as an ice giant because several layers of methane gases... Alright, okay. Several layers of methane gases... Uh, where are we? I've lost, I've lost my place. Uh, methane gases below its desert-like bands have been documented. The ring system of this planet is an interesting topic among the civilizations of the Luadella system since it has an inner disk and an outer ring. Good stuff there. Okay. And then it's also got some moons as well, so let's go ahead and check those out. Oh, it's got a gas moon. Hey, nice. Cool. A lot of gas moons. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Looking good. Okay, next up we've got Uptemis 
over here. A planet that is so cold it actually emits insanely low temperatures. Other than not, it is known about the planet. Many space organizations have proposed missions to study it. It is nicknamed the King of the Rings. Alright, and that is why. Oh, yeah. It's also got some moons to go with him as well. Very nice indeedy. Okay. So, what do we got next? Uh, the moon, oh, click over the moons as well. Okay, ooh, that one looks pretty exotic. What's going on here? Bit of loading time, why is that? Oh, what, 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 oh, oh, ah, okay. It's got a moon of the moon here. Excellent. Okay, now we're moving on to, oh yeah, Kuaga. A gas giant that shows similar stripes to those of zebras, which the planet is named after. It too has a ring system like all the other gaseous worlds, but way bigger with more sets. Missions to this planet have not been proposed yet initiated. Look at that. I mean, that is a... Kind of reminds me of um, JE-1407B with the Saturn-sized, or the super Saturn rings that are larger than 60% of the Earth's orbit, I believe it is. I mean, that is just... It's pretty wild stuff. Pretty, pretty crazy indeed. Okay, so what have we got next? So, moving on, we got uh, Curia. So that's over here. A small planet that houses complex and intelligent life. It is ranked uh, number two among the Haswell objects in this system. It forms a binary with Salvat, which is here. Oh, that was the one we were looking at first. So we were looking at Curia here. And then Salvat is over there. So, okay. So, Salvat. Uh, on the first glance, it seems to host life, but further investigations show that its atmosphere is made up of highly toxic gases. Among these, um, these are only known ones, but the unknown ones that exceed the 118th element, which have yet been humanly made. Okay. Cool. So, now we're moving on to Robius's planets. There's still one we're missing. Oh my god, there's an individual profile for each moon as well. We've already passed all the moons. Oh god. Uh, Robius. We haven't gone to that. I want to know. Okay, we'll, go, we'll do these first. Okay, here we are. So. First of the planets. Uh, Uranid. A planet that mainly features uranium on its surface levels. Okay. So, 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 other than that, it is mostly unknown of what else it is hiding. Okie dokie. Um, I like the green starlight on it as well. That does look really, really cool. So, there's that. Then we've got Matty. A gas dwarf made up of basic elements, though it seems to house gaseous uranium and other radioactive isotopes. Okay. We've got Platyduma, so it's so rich in platinum that it even grows on the upper surface of the planet. Even though its core is made of molten equivalents, scientists have des designed spacecraft that are commissioned to retrieve some of the valuable metal. Okay, we've got uh, Morlive, a planet that is mountainous desert world. Though life expectancy to the objects are pretty much non-existent, there is still little evidence towards it being habitable for smaller organisms. And lastly, we got uh, Yellow Nellis, a frozen world which has a strange ice colour. It's speculated that radiation from Robius and present toxic minerals have caused it. Cool. Okay. But this, we, did we, we missed one of the planets. I don't know if I just missed it in the text. What is... Where is it? This. F Fit Rana. Did we, did we miss it? Did I just jump over it? Let's see. A gas giant that supports life in the form of one of its moons. Uh, this planet has been tilted on its side by a massive impact of a similar sized object millions of years ago. Its bands are mostly purplish. Oh, I just missed it. Ah, oh, sorry for that. So here it is. Like Uranus, tilted on its side. So, onto moons. So, so they're, they're not with. They're under its own tab, not with the parent planet. So. Okay. So there's a brief look at them. So they're not as in detail as the planet ones by the looks of it. Um. So I guess we can just open it like this. Okay, that's better. So, first one here, Tascula. Due to it being hot and molten, scientists can't state any clear facts or theories about it. Then we have uh, Murphia. 
Even though its moon is quite close to uh, Lidello, it's still home to a very cold environment. The surface seems extremely heat reflective. Cool. Then we have a uh, Ferra Mikula over here. A satellite entirely composed of iron. It is uncertain how such structure could occur in the universe. Scientists have started the Ferrella mission to retrieve some iron samples and study it further. Okay. Next up, we got Mole. Where's that? Here. There it is. Okay. So that's the moon of the gas giant we were just looking at. Okay. It is often regarded as a wasteland because there's nothing else but mountains, cliffs, and empty plains, despite the fact it still remains popular among uh, amateur astronomers. Then we have this one here. Uh, where are we? Uh, there it is. So where's that? So, so Eric, you, uh, So this is a moon. Oh yeah, around this one. Okay, that was around that gas as well. The paradise of life, as the conditions for it are only slightly below perfect, as a huge green continent and a massive blue ocean. The most intelligent life forms reside here. Then we have a uh, Vora Lust. Where is that? Over here. Whoa, this one looks pretty crazy. See, I never, I didn't see that before. Wait, so this was orbiting the gas giant as well. Okay. Oh wow, we. Oh, that's mysterious. Okay. So this planet. Uh, the object packs a unique atmosphere. White at the edges towards a dark side, being thick glazes, being pink reddish. Since it's impossible to have a look at even what the weather looks like, scientists don't match about its physical properties. Okay. Next, we have a Deacon here. Deacon. A world covered in deserts. Its thick red atmosphere makes the moon even hotter than it already would be without. Then we have Van Art. Where's Van Art? Uh, over here. Although it has a promising atmosphere, it cannot be listed as potentially at all because of the absence of water on dry and rocky lands. Okay. Uh, Hell Cantus. Where are we? Where's that one? Uh, I can't see that one. Um, aha! Ah, so this is the gas giant moon. Okay, I was looking at rocky planets. One of the only gaseous ob uh, objects in the entire system to orbit a planet. Despite it being cold and below the thick cut of it, it presents elements like neon and seems to burn when viewing it in infrared, although it's unknown why that happens. Cool. So we've got fan art as well, that's the other gas giant moon we saw. The moon falls in a newly established category upon its discovery, the ice doors. Intense weather has been recorded. Then we got this one here. So another gas gas giant, another gas dwarf orbiting uh, it. A solid surface mass has been detected through special methods, makes it even more worthy to investigate. Okay, then we have a uh, tox car over here. So that's moon of the next planet out. Not only does its ocean look terrible, it also is composed of poisonous and acidic chemicals. It makes you think this entire satellite never wanted to see life to begin with. Then we've got um, Chakafi. It's got its name from the famous morning drink because of its overall uh, appearance. It's for us to have diamond ores rather than crust. Okay, so that is... Where's that? Um, oh, they're all in the wrong order as well. There it is. Okay. Okay, looking good. And the last two, or last three. Okay, this one, they're in the wrong order. That's so annoying. Uh, froze Tantit. Yeah, another frozen environment, not too far from the last one. Scientists say that it's pretty much the same as Stagnit. Okay. Looking good. Then we got uh, So So Solatir. Uh, where's that? Oh man, this is so weird. Uh, all in the wrong order. That's so annoying. But I mean, it's not his fault. It's just the way the game's done it. There it is. The so-called chocolate sphere of space. It holds a close resemblance to uh, Shikafi. Scientists that this appearance originates in molten rocks that were released by now extinct volcanoes. And lastly, the moon of the moon. The first of our ocean world to be observed. It is a very small core surrounded by only water and an atmosphere. There we go. So that does it for the Lua Delo system. So looking good. Nice little system there. Lots of reading in there. Looking good. So yeah, there it is. So great stuff indeed. So again, a massive thank you to Heskin Mods for sending this system in. And yeah, 
Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. And with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.